remember the McCloskeys? You know, the gun nut couple that decided to draw their weapons inartfully <laughs> on <laughs> Black Lives Matter protesters. Well, it turns out that they face some criminal charges for doing that. You know, brandishing those weapons is actually a crime. You're breaking some rules there. Uh, but it turns out that they have been pardoned. So that's the update to the story. Missouri Governor Mike Parson announced that he would wipe Mark and Patricia McCloskey's records clean along with those of 10 other people. While the couple was ordered to pay approximately $3,000 in fines, the pardon means that they actually no longer have to pay. Uh -huh. So um, there are other ramifications of this pardon. Uh, in June, Mark McCloskey pleaded guilty to misdemeanor fourth degree assault and was fined $750, while his wife pleaded guilty to misdemeanor harassment and was fined $2,000. The couple also gave up the high powered guns they used in the confrontation. So does that mean since they're pardoned that they get all of those guns back? Judging by the castle that they live in, I think they were gonna be okay guns wise either way, mm -hmm. but I, I don't know. So look, I'm not a proponent of draconian tough on crime nonsense. With that said, this is not an example of that, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the initial charges before the pardon, not an example of that. What they did was irresponsible, what they did was wrong. And they deserve to suffer the consequences of that, which to be quite honest, weren't severe consequences. Mm -hmm. They had to pay a fine, they were charged with misdemeanors. That was it. And look at that, I mean, it's just, luckily no one got hurt. But when you look at the way his wife was holding that handgun, someone could have very easily gotten hurt. I mean, she's, I, man. Yeah, it's easy to focus on the fact that she looks ridiculous. I get it, I'm focusing on it right now. Even as I'm saying this, I cannot believe that she keeps putting her hand on her hip like that. And I don't like, there's no trigger discipline, there's no flip flop discipline, maybe put on some shoes. But like she is waving a gun. <laughs> it's like real housewives of attempted murder. <laughs> That's what it feels yeah. like to me. Yeah. But and he's he's he is pointing that assault rifle at the crowd. It is not up, and I understand that. Assuming he has had any classes in the past, those are not what is flashing through his mind. He thinks that he's going to be a pint-sized Rambo right there in his pink shirt and khakis. You know what? It's though, cosplay. John? It's just cosplay. I think it's Antifa's fault. Probably. <laughs> anyway, but I think it's Docker's fault. But. <laughs> Let's uh, let's get to the part that, like now I'm gonna be a downer. Mm -hmm. No, I see stuff like that and I don't know about you guys. Like I'm actually really curious. So write in if you wanna share, if, if you agree with me on this. I think about Tamir Rice a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think about how Tamir Rice as a 12 year old boy playing with a toy gun in a park, wasn't ever given the benefit of the doubt. No one was there to defend him. No one was there to pardon him of anything. He was shot and killed within two seconds of a cop arriving to the scene. Cop didn't ask any questions, he just opened fire and killed a 12 year old boy who was playing with a toy gun. And the people who defend the McCloskeys, a lot of them thought that the cop was totally justified in what he did. Then they turn around, they're like, yeah, the McCloskeys, totally fine, let's, let's pardon them. They're good guys. Someone could have gotten killed because those are real guns. Those are not toy guns. But hey, they were pointing the guns at protesters we don't like, so they should be pardoned. Okay. You know, you're totally right. It's it's one of the most egregious instances of all these. And I was thinking, he didn't do anything. He's a little kid. Was didn't little. have a gun. Wasn't hurting anyone. And I thought, uh, have you ever heard a right winger talk about that as an injustice? No, I haven't. Well, they because they they hate the government run amok, you know, and this kid was killed by the government run amok, but it doesn't bother them. And so I searched Ben Shapiro, Tamir Rice, and I found a post from 2015. Remember Tamir Rice? He's the 12 year old shot by police while going for a pellet gun in his waistband. The left and the media pointed to the situation as evidence that white police officers want to kill black boys. Only one problem, two new reports say the killing was justified. Just another incident of media malpractice. 
So the cops looked into it and said that it was justified, and that means that the media was wrong to say yeah. that shooting a 12 year old who didn't have a gun was wrong. I mean, that's enough for him. He's satisfied. Of course, because it goes along with his narrative. So of course he's he'll go along it's with that. Just of course race. he'll go along with that. I mean, it, look. By the way, if it that's was, just as credible as the Senate Ethics Committee clearing senators of any wrongdoing when they engaged in insider trading. Yeah, it's like no, no. We looked into our colleagues, and uh, you know they engaged in the same insider trading that we. We engage in, so it's cool. we're gonna clear them. Like that's not a credible investigation, and uh, the same goes for you know what anyone has Just to right. say in justifying a 12-year-old getting shot and killed because he had a toy gun at a park. He got shot and killed in two seconds, no questions asked, no investigation, no questions asked. Boom, he's gone. Uh, but anyway, that, that's just that's that's what we're talking about when we talk about. Um, systemic racism. That's what we're talking about when we discuss a two tier justice system. Certain people get treated differently by cops. Certain people get treated differently by our justice system. The McCloskeys uh, get a pardon by a governor, and uh, Tamir Rice gets shot and killed within two seconds. 12 year old boy with a toy gun. It is what it is. That's the country we live in. Uh, but don't ever complain about it because. You know, you're just a liberal snowflake. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't support the cops. Now, of course, right wingers don't support the cops uh, when it's inconvenient to, mm -hmm. you know, like Capitol Police or DC Metropolitan Police. Sometimes you, know, you need to beat them to death. Sometimes you need you to know. beat them to death, yeah. Like, especially when Trump supporters want to somehow overturn the results of the election because they didn't like the results. Then it's okay to beat cops to death <laughs> or beat cops oh, nearly to death. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.